Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube The General. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the one player that Gary Payton couldn't stop for a large part of his career. This comes from the glove himself, and you might be surprised to find out who it is because it's probably not who you are thinking right now. Again, thank you for the continued support on the past couple of videos. All of you make my experience producing content enjoyable, so keep it up by giving this video a thumbs up. For more content, and leave your feedback in the comments down below. I'm interested to see what you say about this one. Gary Payton is one of those players that we overlook in the grand scheme of things pertaining to NBA history because, well, he didn't ever get a ring. Wait, he did in 2006 with the Miami Heat, but that's not the Peyton we remember. We as basketball fans tend to think back to the late 90s where Peyton was starring on the Seattle Supersonics with Sean Kemp, winning 1996 DPOY, and literally locking players up. In the 1993 Western Conference Finals against the Suns, word got around that Peyton's cousin said he was holding Kevin Johnson like a baseball in a glove, hence the glove nickname. He was a unique player that still hasn't been duplicated in today's NBA. You can see traces in players like Prime Rondo and Patrick Beverly, but no other point guard has been like Peyton. Very good on the offensive end and all-time great on the defensive end. For his 17-year career, Peyton finds himself in the Hall of Fame. Now, that player that was hardest for him to guard was surprisingly not Michael Jordan. But for some backstory on that matchup, Peyton's Sonics fell behind 3 to nothing to Jordan's Bulls in the 96 NBA Finals when George Carl gave Peyton the primary assignment to guard Jordan. Peyton made history by holding Jordan to 23, 26, and then 22 points over the next three games, which was the only time in history Jordan ever scored less than 30 in three consecutive finals games. He also held the GOAT to 37% shooting during the three-game stretch. So if Peyton could contain Jordan, who could possibly be more difficult for him to match up against? During an interview at the NBA store in Glorietta, Peyton said, the guy that I really wanted to shut down and it took a while for me to do it was John Stockton. We had a video on this guy and we knew he was going to set picks. We knew the plays they were going to play, but we were so silly that we'd get caught on the picks. I like basketball players to get an edge. We're not out here to be nice with each other. We're trying to win and that's what he did and they did it for so long. Stockton may seem like a small guy for today's standards, but with a much more physical game back in the 90s, Peyton had to face a fellow Hall of Famer who he added had in uncanny ability to run the Jazz offense and was also one of the best at setting screens and playing physical. Through 49 total career regular season matchups, all but one of them coming with Peyton on the Sonics, he has a 22 and 27 record against Stockton and through 21 playoff matchups, a 10 and 11 record against him. Here's more of what Peyton said on Stockton. He was a guy who was uh, fundamentally sound. He would set picks, he would do the right thing, he'll shoot 12 times, uh, make 10, he would, and all that. You just didn't like playing him because he wouldn't, nope. he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't talk back to you. True, that's yeah. true, <laughs> that's true, that's a, that's a thing too. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Who's the better player all time? Gary Payton, who won one ring, or John Stockton, who never won a ring? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback down there, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out.